Start the expedition to see the Pure River. If we can find this, this is going to go down in history, Paul. Yeah. We're off. It's brilliant. Got a guide, got an amazing driver. The area is heavily guarded, which is why we're getting this, this official to come in with us to make sure that we're, uh, we're legit and we're not going to get shot at or anything okay. like that. Right, brilliant. That's always it's a good start. I don't reassuring. Back to Colombian days. <laughs> There's a real set coming down here, Paul, a real sense of on the edge botanically. Gonna see this plant in this new location. We're almost certain it's gonna be there, but there's all, always an element of, um, you know, may, maybe it not, is it just a rumor? Is it just, we've seen a picture, but it's so, so exciting. It's really brilliant. I thought maybe we were gonna get turned back, perhaps, but we had a local chap who was brilliant, and Zacharias, so typical Puya. Great, mm. most difficult places topographically, politically. <laughs> yeah. It feels like going into the lost world. Presumably, if we go through there into that valley, in the middle of bloody nowhere. Brilliant. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Only about 30 minutes. Half an hour's walk. <laughs> All these really. Un look. I mean, good start. I just can't, just can't believe they're going to be here in a 30 minute walk. Well, yeah, the altitude's so low. We'll find out. I can breathe. <laughs> you first. See them just around the corner. I can't see any flowers, but I can see four or five big plants of Ramondio growing at a new location in a new altitude. Just fantastic. We're just sticking out the side of the hill, this Ramondia. 30 to 40 years old, he's saying, these guys here. And in this particular site, it takes up to 100 years for them to flower. Which is actually about bad average. That's about touching the Ramondia. Get one in flower would be my dream. Just everywhere, Paul. They're just everywhere. I don't know if there's any more cases like this. No wonder why no one believes it's probably. I well, probably don't believe Zacharias that it's here. I didn't. So why would the officials? have got to come and actually see it. <laughs> it's an overwhelming experience. A red data listed plant, the world's tallest flower spike, probably up to half a century old already. New location. Without that mining road, I mean, look back at it. Without that mining road, how the hell would we have got here without Mr. Director? Just really, I mean, this is. Those we'll get to the best one, I think, further on. From here, 20, 20, 22, 3 feet from the base of the leaf to the top. The crux of the whole trip was to see this plant, but I never expected to find a new location. I mean, it is absolutely extraordinary. Viewers at home, I can't stress to you, this is a one-off opportunity, and we've just happened to have lucked on it. I can't gauge for 15 maybe flower spikes, some of which I think from this distance are still in flower. They fly every 60 to 120 years. Pain in my legs is just altitude. I can jump out of a plane now with no parachute. Can't feel any pain anymore. Fudge me. Thousands and thousands of them on the yard. No one knows officially. They're here. In full flower. Got it. Full flower. Oh, yes. In full flower. Oh. Absolutely. Floreciendo. <laughs>
Well, I mean, I don't know. The only completing thing now is to go and find and look at that, but jeepers, I do hope there's one closer than that. I, I am going to find one that's flowering now. That's a hardcore slog. I, I don't care. I'm going to get and see that plant. This is, be this is beating last year. Oh, it's beating every trip I've been on in my life. It's the fact that no one knows about them, which makes it so cool. Ay, ay, ay. So these guys reckon about 3,000 plants here, did yeah. you say? Yeah, well, I, went, I said 5,000. 5,000, he still was not nodding. So would that be a, a big population, huge. average? Huge, yeah. huge. The Puyamondi are hipster, very isolated plants. Um, you get them, for example, in Katak, in central Peru, growing 4,900 metres, saw them um, last year. And they were just, um, they were great, but they were just in clumps, hanging on to deer life at that altitude. There was nothing. The grass, I was told, was about six or seven years old and was three or four inches tall. I mean, how they grow there. The UV light burns you. From a factor 50, you're burnt like a lobster. Here, yeah, there's UV, but it's so sheltered. The altitude is 4,000 feet less than last year when I saw them. And there were like 40 plants. I mean, three, four, five thousand. Let's go and find this other site. Vamos. Should we go and get up close and personal with one of these things? Okay. Have a quick look. Go and give it a hug. But, um, it's quite spiny, but I'll try. Well, one without flowers, and then one with the flower spikes. They are all spent here, but that flower spike, and they agree, seems to be the only one around in flower. He says he can't, he doesn't believe that it can be climbed. So, of course it can. <laughs> it has to, I have to see it. Traditional snog. Are you kissing the puya, Tom? I have to kiss it. It's such a <laughs> special plant, Paul. So modern-day plant hunting still has its place. There are still discoveries to be made. Without that mining road, this is pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Such an aristocratic plant. But look at these spines here. Check these out. These reddish spines. You'll see with almost all of them, they point inwards. The ones on the outside of the leaf, at the far edge of the leaf, where it's turning brown, tend to point outwards. On film, this is very rarely filmed. I've never seen a film about a puya, a mondi, where puya full stop. Fifteen flower spikes. They are spent, they have just finished, but astonishing collection of puyas. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the world's largest flower spike, the undisputed Queen of the Andes. Some eight metres tall, puya. Ramondii, the bromeliad plant growing high up in the Andes for a new record here. First time in this state it's been seen, and the lowest altitude it's ever been recorded at in a place that, according to our two guides here, no white face, no tourist has ever been here before. All in all, <laughs> pumping action. Really, really, what plant hunting is all about.